Now, when we were last playing, we saw Best Girl get it right in the guts. Then we had to drop her in the water. It's very unfortunate. Didn't want to do that. But, um, you know, say la vie. These things happen. So now we have to um, fight on. And now we have to chase after a man with long grey hair. Because reasons. Um, we are chasing three Chivos. One is like a, like a, ooh, a fun little glitch, um, that you can easily fuck yourself out of. So we're going to rectify that mistake. Number two is the Fort Condor challenge. You have to manually do 15 battles. Um, that's like, apparently there are n uh, 19 or so programmed in, but, um, for some reason or another, you are unable to access them, and therefore, you know, um, the Chivo only pops when you've done 15. And then finally, the third Chivo is complete the game with no character above level 28. Hence why we're playing the entirety of Final Fantasy VII again on stream. And as you can see, we've done a lot of Final Fantasy VII streams. I wish I knew what I was getting myself into. Like, I was just thinking, ooh, like I haven't played this game for over a decade. Wouldn't it be fun? But you know what's not fun? Doing the same content for over 20 streams. It comes a bit much. It comes a bit much. Um, we'll be doing a lot of, um, fast forwarding, like that. I believe my last, no, it was slot two. Okay, I think they're going to force me to change discs here. Okay, now... Excuse me while I try to figure this out. Uh, disk control. Load new disk. Eject disk. Insert disk. Nope, that's not it. So if I try to do it again, it will say nope. Yeah. Load new disk. Eject current disk, select a new disk from the file system. Oh, okay, you can actually see what I'm seeing on screen. Um, load new disk. Ah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I did it. Let's check my audio levels. Let me check my levels. Ah, oh, that's right. Um. Okay. Let me um. Pump the mic a bit, and then lower the beautiful music. Soak it in. The best area of the game, the best song in the game. I love this song.
I'm pretty sure we've looted the entirety of the um, flint scene. But I'm just, I'm just wondering if there's like extra cutscenes now that we're on this too. I think there is. Like here, like. But it's like. Get out of my head, Charles. says anything about Aerith. If we go back to the her final resting place. Which is through here. Fuck the, the majesty of this location. It can't be overstated. Here was the um the place where I had the, the secret walkway, but that can only be um done once and never again. so congested lately. Listen to me. I'm so fucking horny. the one that had the last one. I could switch around the materia to, you know, make it so that Tifa could have resurrected Barrett then without having to waste a phoenix down, but I, uh, ain't got no time for shenanigans. Ain't got no time! Shell like drop off. It might do. I want to see what's on the left. Now those things are good for stealing dazes. I 
Yes. Let's keep that. Out here. See a way of getting it. Magma. Okay. Okay. Breakfast potion. Viper helmet. Okay, so that's for Sid. I don't know about like its slots or whatever, but let's take it. Mission accomplished. It's not like it's a missable chest, so I could have come back for it, I guess, but I guess. Now before I proceed any further, I wanna double check. Um to keep on top of the Fort Connell battles. Okay, disc two, any time before completing the whirlwind maze. Okay. situational. I don't ever use either. Lovely Megalixes. Now, I believe this is for Kate no, no, this is an accessory that um, increases the chance of manipulating enemies. So, important for certain enemy skills, I believe. Or, or just for the success of manipulation, really. Viper, Halberd, Bolt 
armor, hero crown, mega elixir, power source. That's somewhere, but not here. Maybe it's in this next screen. Houses. Got swept by the nuggets. Now it's just um, up to the Miami Heat to deal with the Boston Celtics. Watering. I told you these things have some much shit. Hell yeah. That's pretty sick. I'm just gonna hang out this area, see if we can get a, another one from. Try to touch me. Please, give me. No, not four of these fucking things. Ay, ay. Thank you. Such danger. I don't want my damn channel being banned. That would suck. Let's see the other side? Yeah. Now we're in the snow country. Towards the ice school lodge. Crystals or Arctic Wind, which are like a like an Ice Two or an Ice Three item that can be used to pump all items. But I don't need it. Ooh. 
Look, I'm, I'm not even gonna front. There's gonna be a lot of yawning on this stream. Like, I've been struggling for months to get my, like, sudden onset narcolepsy under control. And it just seems to be, like, about this time after dinner, like, I, I will naturally get sleepy now. Um, also, this music is fucking amazing. The atmosphere of this is... Hey Alex, I was um actually apologizing for my behavior in the last stream about how I was um like I should have just accepted your your generous rate at face value, but I I kept on pushing people. I was like, please please type in my chat. <laughs> I was be I was being way too greedy and um. I realize now that, you know, greedy things don't come to... Greedy things? No, if, if you're being greedy, like, you don't deserve the thing that you want, so... We ended up having 12 unique people, by the way. So. It will happen one day. It will happen one day. But, um, I think you are the last, um, VIP I'll, I've been allowed to give out. Oh, guess what we're not buying? I was just mentioning also how um, the music for this is also a low-key banger. Yeah. Like, whether it takes, like, you know, a month or a year or a decade. At this stage, like, it's whatever. Earthbound. I haven't played Earthbound for a very long time, but um, yeah, like oh, whenever I hear like a like a great game soundtrack, it's almost like I I remember the, uh, the game itself. So depending, I prefer not to hear video game soundtracks because of that, because it's like I want to play them like later on. Hello, dog. You're my favorite customer. How you been doing, Alex? I, of course, will give you a shout out. Oh, what a, what a beautiful emote that is. I mean, uh, avatar. What is up with the um? Something is up with my um command. Hmm. Oh, piano. Nice. Like, I'm... I wouldn't say I'm, like, too much of a coward to just, like, jump into music, but... I guess at this stage, that's essentially why I am. I'm a coward. If I wanted to do music, I would have done it by now. Like, I really love music. Um... But creating music? Being the subject of criticism for music I make? I don't know. Thinking I have enough creativity to make anything good. We need to go visit um, Professor Gast's place. I think it's this place. It must be this place. No, no, no this is the sick, the sick um kid. Yeah. Weren't you or um, also studying uh, Spanish? That's also pretty good. You're getting right in there with the um, the uh, improvement. Hmm. No, it's good. Learning language is good. Um, especially if you intend to use those language skills when you visit like um, Spanish-speaking um, places. <laughs> uh, you got you just gotta find the right teacher, I guess. And you've also gotta figure out like what's 
like how am I going to use my second language? Is it just going to be exclusively for fun? Or am I going to try to incorporate into my career? Memes. Ah, I see. I'm trying to make all your English memes more spicy and Spanish, huh? Spanish sounding. since I was 25 and I'm now 42 um, it's been on and off though like I can't say with a straight face straight face like yeah like I'm I, I incorporate some Japanese into my daily routine like I, I, no. I think like I went very hard in the early years and then I realized how fucking difficult it was I got kind of burnt out and now I'm just like ooh. Well, can I take a second look? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm class right. Wait, are you okay? Okay, I think he's alright, guys. Just, um, just pinching off some ropes, laying some underground cable. No, but, um, me and the Japanese language, it's a love affair. We fight a lot. Currently, we're, we're in the, um, separated but not divorced stage. We haven't quite reached the, I can't remember what your face looks like stage yet. But it's getting close. I need to get back on the... Get back on the house. But, like, in terms of, like, learning, um, Japanese specifically, I feel like, um, don't worry about books. Just learn as many words as you can and, like, be, be happy, like, knowing more than zero and just build off that. And don't ever worry about how fucking terrible it may sound. Because it's still better than zero. And each day, it, like, you learn a bit more than what you knew before. And after a couple of years of doing it, like, not hardcore, but after a couple of years of doing it, you're like, I can understand uh, quite a few things. And, and that's alright, I don't need to be perfect. A lot of people, especially when I first started learning Japanese, um, when I was in my mid-twenties, it was like an all-or-nothing mindset, like, I will pass N1 in two years of study. Um, you could put that sort of pressure on yourself, um, but it's not healthy. It'll, you know, make you resent, you know, language learning. Can we look... No, we, we already looked upstairs then. We look at the bad guy on the toilet having like a bit of a bit of a poo poo. This must be no. Take this left. Here are drinks and vaccines, but they only have one. So Paris, I'll, I'll look at the map. Now, at some stage, like if you want all the treasure in this particular portion, you're gonna collapse and you'll wake up at like this lumberjack's place. But I guess what we could do is we go straight to that lumber. Well, is it a lumberjack or is it like a sherpa? You go straight to that guy's um, cabin up on the um, the top of the hill, and then you can come back for all the rest of the stuff, I guess. Because this particular area is like a, a once only dungeon. I believe. Oh, 
Oh, keep him. Kitty. I am Big Billy, the biggest wet willy. No, no, clearly. Mm. Oh, he said I can take it, so I will. Be in the inn. No, no, okay. No, where is Professor Gast's home? That one. That's the one. All this lore. I should just be burning through this, but fuck it, I've had a long day. Just wanna chill out. Watch some home movies. That aren't amateur porn. Nola's pole. I think that particular, yeah, the Nola's pole. I don't think it's references the Nola's pole ever again. I guess it's inferred to be like her people's like word for the place. Damn, Eric's mother's like, like got the hair, doesn't she? <laughs> Spirit bomb. Mm. The White Walkers. Now you see that? The crisis from the sky as we call him. Now, this is in reference to um, Genova. Which I always thought was uh, classed as like a she. It's definitely got titties. I missed out on a chance to do like a, a Team America pun there. It's like, how do I know? Oh, it's probably the titties. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Infecting them with the virus. Okay. What is a weapon? What is weapon? This is like excellent foreshadowing. Like, um, like, the, the, I guess the most recent foreshadowing of the weapons, <clears throat> before you actually meet them, is when you go to Bone Village. You see the big skull and you're like, oh fuck. C 
see the punctuation error. IT apostrophe S is um, a contraction of it is. But what we want is possessive. So ITS with no apostrophe. It's annoying. Um, like once you know the rule, it's very annoying when you see it constantly misused everywhere. weapon. I don't know. Now I like this bit here. She's like, mm, she's speaking in riddles. And then watch what this cunt does. Fucking asshole. It's like, oh, poor woman. Like clearly in distress. Like Professor Gast wasn't like, you know, he wasn't a top-notch guy. He's trying to extract as much information out of her as possible, and he works for the Shinra. See, that's Professor Gast deciding. Like, doesn't care about that if I'll know. Oh, wait, forgetful head? Is he talking about. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely Gast that named um, his daughter rather than if I'll know. Okay. Time for sexy time. Uh, slow hug. Special time? I think he refers to it as special time. Yeah, private time. <laughs> Fucking Hojo. This shit's sick. Mm. They were trying really hard to make him just as disliked as Kefka. Um, I feel like Kefka, like, he was, <clears throat> he wasn't inherently evil at first, 
like he was broken by the um the Magitech like um procedure. But um this guy is just a real piece of work. Six. See the uh, the wine bottles and the uh, Cialis. Cozy. I don't know why there's a tree in the house. I'm pretty sure that's a tree, right? It's bizarre. It's a bizarre little room, all, all told. So what happens is, I believe we talk to the um the dude down there, and then when we try to go back around, like we find that the um the town is blocked off. Excuse me. I think I might have a um, little antacid tablet actually. Actually, actually. Start again, that was give me wood. I think, like I said, I think, okay, let's see if we can like leave, leave. Stuck with our shitty equipment or anything that we can pick up or steal. Sequence of events. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at Kailuya's uh, Retro Achievements page. Now you've been putting in work, I can see you got some points. <laughs> Holy shit, there's 109 Chivos. Fuck. Yeah, it's the bottom one. Basically forcing you to do a, a complete playthrough. 
Yeah. How long do you think that will take you? Probably like, um, two days? You're close, and that's a nice badge to have. What does the badge actually look like? Oh, I take it back. I don't like the, uh, the look of that. I don't know what it should look like, but... Because there's like a distinct lack of official artwork, I guess. Like, I guess you could make it like um, a picture of Link holding up the Master Sword. Maybe that's what it was um, before. I want... Yeah, the Jack of All Trades. The way that Link is holding up the um, the torch. That's that's what I think the, um, the badge should be. In my opinion. Because, um... Yeah, there just wasn't a lot of, like, official, like, anime-style artwork that I remember for this game. Hmm. Any Huzen? Good job, Kailuya. And preemptive congrats on getting your badge. I'm not sure how long it'll take you to get it, but I, I don't think it'll take you very long at all. But yeah, I hope everything outside of RA is going alright. Without going into huge amounts of discussion. I am? Oh, maybe the, um, the music just needs to be brought down a little bit more. Also, this particular tune is quite loud. Yeah, it's probably that. Like, th this particular tune is like. around the ear canal. Um. Do I need to stay at the end? I'll stay at the end. Yeah, like we're, we're inching, you know, bit by bit towards the, uh, the Chivo. I did, oh, I did, um, before, but now I spent the night, I think he says something different, you're correct. Uh, I'm still going. Ah, uh, that's right. Oh, it's not Scar, it's Elna. Yes, ma'am. I'll fight you, Elna. See, cur it. Oh, she, yeah, she, she likes to sing. Yeah. I was on the right track. Oh, why well, thank you, Kyle William. I try. The thing you fool me, liar. I'll never forget it. I think um, if you stand there and take it, she's like, "Oh, why did you do you do that?" But I'm not, <laughs> I'm not letting a bitch punch me. <laughs> what? You <laughs> wait. Hey, boys. Um, you can kick their ass. I think you you fight them, two people, but infinitely spawning. Same with this dickhead. Don't be angry. I think myself would know. 
Come, child, give me your sick looking board. Don't show him that uh, that snowboard looks fucking sick. The color scheme was just like, ugh. Hell yeah, bro. straight through me. Yeah, boy. Alright. Uh, I hated this. I truly did. <laughs> Doubloons. Ah. Ah. Terrible on this. Mandatory, mandatory um snow when you snowboarding when you don't want to do it. It's a cool game. Oh, give me the green boy. That's um snowboard. It looks sick, doesn't it? Bonk. Oh. Shit. Can I? Can I please? Nope. Can't have nice things. <laughs> I'm terrible with this. I can't believe I w I managed to get the um. Like if, if you have a look at the the original playthrough. Uh, I I got um 91 points. On uh, hardest difficulty. For snowboarding. Fuck that tree! You would have died. Like, it would have been Michael Schumacher all over again. It would have been Liam Neeson's wife. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no. More like sunny. Oh no. <laughs> I launched a chicken. jump off into the distance at least I got, at least I nailed that little bit right now depending on where you go in, in that particular course 
Um, it, it puts you in a different section of the whirlwind maze. Leave a cloud, she's dead. Okay, where are we at? <laughs> of course, it doesn't really tell us, but I assume it's at the um the lower thing there. Anyway, let's check this thoroughly. There's gotta be one more thing in here. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna win. Okay. Mine source is the same thing here. Oh, I missed out on an X potion at the ice glen, but I can always go back there. That, ooh, this doesn't tell me shit. Alright, back to it. There's this... Isn't there like, um... A section like this where you can pick up a materia. Pretty sure there is. But it's been so long since I've played this game. You can touch the water here. And like it's like hot. And then if you go near the um one of the enemies, she has really shit it off. But are we even going to have a chance to fight Snow? Because you have to you have to defeat the um I'm not sure if they're even gonna allow us to, to do that. Let me check the guide. Now I believe you can get in the water. And you can touch the water. Now look, the only thing that I'm currently interested in right now is if we can find... There's like a, a renewable elixir and you can literally get um, up to 99 elixirs. So as you can imagine, having 99 elixirs in a low level run might be useful. Might be a little bit useful. Just a, just a hint, just a touch useful. No, don't touch me. Carefully for items. Semi carefully. Semi pro. Listen to me. You're so fucking horny. Wait. Uh, what's this place? Avalanche. 
That's our organization. Is that the cave? I don't think so. I think we're gonna hop across ice. But this could be the cave. Oh no, don't touch! Don't touch. Don't touch. Okay. I think this is the um yeah. I'm I think that this is the cave. Okay, so the trick with this cave, um, you pick up that item, right? Um, and it says, you know, you picked up Elixir. But then you leave the cave, and then you come back in, and then it's back. So, obviously, um, you're still on, like, a timer. So you only have, like, um, a certain amount of time before you collapse with exposure. But you can keep coming back to this cave. That is before you leave the whirlwind maze. And go into Gaia's Cliff. So this is a, a neat little glitchy poo. Oh, one elixir. Two, three. How do I break the playthrough? I think you have something. I think I can steal a circlet from her. Give her a chop. So give her that paralysis chop. Come on, give me a circlet. You know you want to. She didn't really... Alright, I'm sorry Barrett, but I'm gonna have to get you. That's unfortunate. So I'm just going to concentrate on getting these. What a weird glitch, huh? I'm thankful for it, though. I think I, I managed to get like 20 before I fucked up. And I, I, I clicked out the uh, text window. It's it's so easy to do that, you know. In the other stream, I was farming right arms and dragon scales. Now I'm farming uh, elixirs, but elixirs are like, you know, few and far between. Everything's few and far between before you 
can pull off the W item glitch. So. Assuming that um, the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler can get it done over Boston, who would you want to like win in a final series, like Denver or Miami? Now, also note, um, also take note of the fact that this is the Denver Nuggets' first time in the NBA Finals. It's a tough choice. Like, low key. I can't decide. They're both worthy. I feel like Denver, like, you feel like on paper, yeah, sure. But if. Miami could continue the uh, the uh, Cinderella story. Then I'd I'll be like I'll be totally I'm I'm totally down for either to win. I feel like both are very deserving winners. Like whereas before I thought that the Lakers and and Boston were destined to mean the finals, but because I thought that they had like um, an answer for the Joker, but it just turns out that um. No one's got an answer for that man. Joel Embiid was honestly the best regular season MVP. I firmly believe that. With Jokic not far behind. But um Jokic found a way to get it done. In the playoffs that is. There we are, thank you. Thank you for circlet. Now, I believe the circlet is plus 30 to magic. Oh, and spirit. But, um, as far as I recall, there's bugs in the programming of this game. So... I think especially concerning spirit and magic defense wasn't quite programmed properly. I could be wrong on that one, but... Maybe I'm mixing up my Final Fantasies. So, who else have I been watching a retro lately? Um, I've been looking lifted stream. Um, not a whole hell of a lot, but I have been. He did um the Batman game, and then he did another Batman game. I think he's currently doing a Batman game. That's right. It's a very nice secret, don't you think, Kaluya? So yeah, I can just keep going back for more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more. Have a look at my um, Elixir account now. Twenty-four, baby. What an oversight. Still, it's legit, and it's um one of the only places you can get like multiple. I think it is like the only place where you can get like um an infinite item and what an infinite item to get you know you, you'd be thinking oh a tranquilizer or a soft you can get infinitely but no no it's a fucking elixir it's just that there's a little bit of artificial time pressure 
and also the temptation to close the text box. But if you if you approach this um, methodically, and like the back of your mind, always remember not to clear the the text box and get up to that 99. And then once you do, it feels good, man. The thing is, um, because it's a low level run, like some of these enemies will have like magic that will like one hit KO you. And then it's like, what good is the Alexa now? And the answer is not a lot. Hee <laughs> hee, see how it collapsed there? Oh, where are my underpants? It's like, and then he's like, Oh, I found you, um, and I brought you to my home. You're safe now. And then you're like, No, but where are my underpants? And he's like, Don't worry about it. And then you're like, Whoa, mm, I don't know about this. And he's like, You're welcome. Would you like, um, some uh, bowl of eggs? Would you like a bowl of eggs? And you're like, Yeah, I'd like a bowl of eggs. Who cares about my underwear? Like maybe I maybe I forgot to uh to wear underwear today. Like I I can't. You you start second guessing yourself. You start second guessing yourself. And then you're like, oh, like, is my bum hole like you know really sore, or is it just like did I sleep wrong last night? Holds off. Mm. I like how this room has like sake bowls right there. I want to go upstairs. Nope, fine. Yamsky and I took this cliff on. This is a sad story. Didn't even notice. Fucking R.I.P. Yamsky. By the way, did you peep the um? In the corner, he's got a, a crate full of potatoes. What a fucking maniac. Or is that bread? Moldy bread. Didn't need to say twice, Gramps. Straight back to the fucking cave. <laughs> straight back. And then I'm gonna keep on collapse. To my bone collapse. Because it's all about the elixirs. Don't overdo it. No worries, I'll see you very soon. Mother Nature is pretty awesome. Yeah, like, there are places in Japan where, like, um, specifically Hokkaido and, like, the upper, um, islands of, um, on, on the island of Honshu, um, you know, like, um, 
Niigata, and uh, what's another one? Nagano. Um, you know where all the Aussie <laughs> snow surfers go every year? Because the powder's the best. Rah, rah. But, um, now imagine living in those conditions. Like, if you come from, like, a, a tropical climate, like, I guess, like, Perth's a tropical climate, or in the, you know, near the Tropic of Capricorn, in, near the Indian Ocean, um, the weather's usually 20 degrees, um, minimum. So, like, we're not, we're not cold, right? To go from that to this, where you're shoveling snow, and there's, like, m minus double-digit Celsius temperatures every day, and night, would you want to fucking live there? It's also extremely isolated. So, no, I would, I would also hate to live in the cold. Fuck that. Aaron, what are you saying? The Shinra are bad. Okay. What are you doing, Yuff Yuff? Look at Vincent. This is not, he's not moving. Is uh red shivering? No, not really. Rufus is gonna arrive there. Oh, that's right. There's the big reveal. Right. That particular scene, like this, like the the sequence. It's it's pretty sick. I have to admit, it is pretty sick, and it also leads up to the events that lead to the end of the game so it's kind of strange but this is like quite a, ver a very important um plot point at the very beginning of this too anyway i think if we go inside we reset things okay they're no longer there yeah all right let us find oh this thing I think this is the location of... Oh no. Well, fuck me. I thought that this was the location of that, um... I, I don't think the creature's called Snow, but they look similar. And if you touch them with your onsen hands, they get very pissed off. Take. Okay, I deliberately, deliberately, went, deliberately went south then. Can we please get back to that cave? I think that there's something. It's so difficult to see. There we go. Something here. 
felt like they could be, but... Maybe on this screen, or the next one. Oof, I'm very lost. Let's just go up through here. stream where I'm having played it for like two hours and knowing that I should be streaming for another two hours I'm like already hitting my limit 